morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. You know who I am. And I have with me Dave, the white rhino, Alan. It's yes, Ingram. Ha- yeah, it's, it's good to hear, have you on again, Dave. Uh, been a lot happening the last week of the rhino. Yeah, yeah, it's been... Um... It's been a very good last four weeks. I think I think that was the last time we caught up, and um, it's been very busy. And um, it's been it's been some good, been you know some some lows, but you know every time there's been a low, there's been a there's been an even bigger high on the other on the other side of that. So things are good. Absolutely. If we if we go back to the last time we spoke, we were talking about you going off to Marbella, going to training camp. So what were you doing when you're at training camp? Yeah, it was really good. You know, I'm not a great flyer. I'm not going to lie. I really did not like the flying. Um, I didn't enjoy that. But, well, you know, when I got there, we had a great time. We uh, we had seven days out there. I went with Jason Cunningham, who fought Cali Fire last week. Yep. Um, my trainer, uh, manager, Stephanie Bull, and Steve Phillips um, came with us. And um, we had a great time. You know, there was a lot of hard work put in. A lot of hard work. You know, it was, it was hot out there. A lot of running, you know, just... A lot, a lot of similar trains what we got out here, but we went to the MGM. Um, it's a great gym, it's a great facility there. We've got some good sparring in with Sean Turner. I'm sure you know Sean Turner. Absolutely. And um, the Cruiserweight, David Maguire. So, okay. um, really good rounds, really good rounds. So how important has it been for you to get away and do training camp rather than stay at home and, and train at home? To me, Ingram, it makes zero difference. You know, it's a gym. It's just a gym. You know, if there's a few bags in there, there's a ring and there's a man holding some pads, it's all the same. But, you know, it was nice, it was a break, it was something different. Um, you know, just broadened my horizons, you know. And, uh, mm, broaden your horizons. Um, the history of Dave Allen broadening his horizons from Klitschko to Spilka to sparring with all the, some of the best heavyweights in the world. I mean, how does this compare for you? Well, it was a bit warmer, for yeah. one. It was a bit warmer than Poland. Um, okay. But it was good, you know. It was something different, uh, and it helped, you know, get on a, a, a better personal level with my new manager and trainer. You know, I spent a week together, living together, training together, and it mm-hmm. was good. You know, it brought us all closer together as a team. Um, very good sparring. Sean Turner's a very good fighter. So is David Maguire. You know, it was very good. It was a successful week, I thought. You know, and um, you know, we just picked up where we left off when we got off the plane back in England. So let's talk a little bit more about Steffi Ball. You obviously that's your new manager. How's, yeah. how's that work in that new relationship you've got obviously before Dennis Hobson how, how is that now developing for you now do you see do you see any different any immediate differences or do you think this is something that will take time yeah as a manager you know you don't really see much of the difference you know he, he, um, you know they sort of the fights their, their work is done behind the scenes yeah. you know um, but as a trainer you know it's, it's going well it's going well um, you know there's a, we've, we've tweaked a few different things we've agreed on on a few different things to be changed and here and there but um i've been boxing for seven years now um so i've got a rough idea of, of you know of kind of what i'm doing um and we knew that we knew a lot of it was to do with getting fit shedding excess weight and then we just we just tweaked a few a few minor things um you know, we're very happy working together, and it's you know, and, and Saturday night hopefully. You know, now we've had a good, an extra six weeks together for the last fight. You know, I kind of trained myself, but we've had a good six weeks together now. And um, you know, we're not 100 percent there. I'm not 100 percent fit, and I'm, you know, there's still some more weight to come off. But you know, we're we're as good as we could be in in the situation, so we're very happy. And the trainer that you've got now, uh... John Sunderland. Yes, tell us a little bit more about him working with him. Yeah. We're, is 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 what you could call in like what people seem to be calling a strength and conditioner. Um, you know, do a lot of work in the gym. You know, not so much boxing related, fitness related. You know, with the weights and 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 different stuff that I've never done before. Um, you know, we've got a good personal relationship as well. You know, we're very good friends. Um, you know, that helps. We have a laugh in the gym, but you know, as soon as as soon as we start training, you know, it's a different thing, and uh, it's very knowledgeable. Um, in that side of it, he's very knowledgeable on the nutrition side of it. You know, he's helped me get my weight down, and he's done a very good job of that. Um, and he's an ex professional boxer himself, he's an ex fighter, so you know, he understands. And um, he comes down to the boxing gym as well and uh, watches me train, you know, helps out here and there. So, you know, I've got a really good team around me, you know, that's just two That's just two of the team. You know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of other help that's gone in, you know, people help me selling tickets and 
you know, and among amongst other things. That's fantastic. And it's always good to know that you've got people that you can rely on and support network. Now, the original opponent was um, Adam Mac Macic. What's his name? Wait, it don't really matter now, does it? Adam Summer. Oh, yeah, well, well, that guy. Um, yeah. And he pulled out. But how did you discover he pulled out of the fight? I discovered on Facebook, you know, I've been a little bit nosy, um, you know, seeing what he's doing. Well, I heard and... it didn't come out the proper channels of how he pulled out of the fight. From what I understand, it came out through somebody else's Facebook messaging or something like that. No, no, it, it, came, it came from his Facebook. Yeah. Um, He's got a back injury, you know. Maybe he has got a back injury. I don't know. It's not for me to say. I don't know the ins and outs. I don't know. Right. The um, so he's out. But you know that was bad news. I was I was gutted about it. We'd been preparing, you know, just for him. All I had on my mind was him for the last five and a half weeks. But um, in actual fact, it's worked out better. We've got a better opponent, a bigger name. He's a decent name. Got some good wins, and beating him, you know, it doesn't give me a title, but it gives me far more than beating uh, the likes of Adam McCars would have done. But you were fighting, as we've joked before, for the Central Area Championship of the World. Of the world, yeah. Of the world. Not yeah. the area, the world. So, now you're not fighting for the Championship of the World. I mean, you've got this opponent ahead of you now. Do you know his name? Um, Fabrice Orieng, I believe. Okay, it. Fabrice Orieng. Now, from Fabrice Orieng, there's a different style together. Machic was just tall and sort of like a... I mean, different styles. Once, if they, if both are poor, one orthodox and one south. No, no, it, we couldn't have got any different. We had a six foot seven orthodox fighter who threw wild swinging shots, and now we've got a six foot one, very experienced, short, compact, decent boxer, tidy, very durable. Uh, so I couldn't have got any any different, really. Uh, and I believe Oriang is a hundred times better fighter than Adam McCars will ever be. So. You know, and uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not fighting for a title, but you know, every time I fight, I'm looking, I'm looking so I can, I'm fighting so I can look at myself in the mirror um, the next day. So it's, it's, it's any fight is important as the next, whether there's a title on the line or not. But mentally now, switching on to a guy that's shorter now. I mean, you had in your mind, you probably had visualizations of you knocking out, knocking out Adam, or visualization of you winning the fight. <coughs> now you've got to re, readjust and recalibrate the actual fight you've got now against a guy that's much shorter, what are the challenges now that you have to deal with that you wouldn't have had to deal with before? It's a southpaw, for one. Yep. Um, you know, the height, it's a big height difference, but, you know, it doesn't really make it, I don't think it makes a, a, a massive load of difference. Um, you know, there's, there's going to be no excuses to be made, you know, you know with whatever happened. You know, it's just it's just another fight. I've sparred many fighters: short, fat, tall, skinny, yellow, white. You know, black man doesn't doesn't make a difference, does it? You know what I mean? So there's no excuse to be made, is it? But I do think he's a very good fighter. Um, he is on short notice, but he's got a world title kickboxing fight in three weeks, so he's going to be fit. Yep. Um, and we'll know a lot more of the way. And I'm a very honest man. I'm not going to lie. If he turns up at over 17 and a half stone, he's not he's not ideally prepared. Right. If he's near a 16 and a half stone, it's going to be a really hard night. You know, he's a really. I've only had 10 amateur fights and eight professional fights, and and less than half have, have gone the distance. I've not done many rounds. So, um, but this fight, a bit of this fight, I will learn more from this fight than the 18 amateur and professional previous. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a big opportunity live on Sky Sports. You know, in front of the main man in British boxing right now, Eddie Hearn, uh, a big audience. So. I'm, you know, I'm really what excited. What does that mean to you? If you, if we look back on when we first started doing interviews with you, Dave, if we look back there and look at where you are today in 2015, live on Sky Sports, Dave the White Rhino Allen. I mean, and on the bill, Chris Eubank Jr. as well, yeah. Kevin McDonald. I mean, those are two fights there, and yourself's in there as well. You're in the mix. Yeah, yeah, I could get emotional about it, <laughs> thinking about it. You know, um, 12 months ago, even even as close as six months ago, I never thought I'd box again. Um, and if you'd have told me six months ago I'd be fighting live on Sky in a real good fight against a really good opponent, you know, and, and a win would springboard me on to maybe getting a really big fight, then I'd have, said, I'd have told you to stop lying to me because I'm, I need to get back to work with them naughty kids. So, um, you know, it's, it's crazy, and... Uh, 
I've got a really big smile on my face and I'm going into this fight, you know, with a really positive attitude because, you know, I'm winning. I'm fighting live on Sky Sports and I'm doing what I love to do and, um, you know, I've got to thank everyone who's, you know, who's helped me. You know, I'm, I'm nowhere near where I want to be but, you know, you know, it's a, it's an achievement to be where, I am, where I'm at now and, um, you know, it's, um, yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm, you know, I'm just happy as you can tell. So I'm very happy for you and the thing is as well, it's not just myself and, and, and people in boxing that know you, but it's when trainers start to talk of you. Peter Fury, we recently spoke to, he turned and said how much he, he, he admires your style and your work and how strong and how tough you are and your boxing ability. Eddie Chambers has paid tr uh, a tribute to you as well. James Adebishir, who I spoke to two nights ago, spoke about the White Rhino emerging as being one of the top heavyweights. What does that make you feel like, all these people coming out and singing your praises. Yeah, it's nice. Obviously, I couldn't say that it's not. It's nice to hear, and um, you know, um, you know, it may surprise. You know, it may surprise people. But, you know, um, if I had believed in myself like these people, believe, you know, I'm, sometimes as, a, as only a young man, you know, sometimes I do lack that self belief, and um, you know, it's still a little bit lacking. You know, I know what I can do, but sometimes you just, you know, I think it's me. So I can't beat these guys because I'm, I'm just me. Um, but you know, in time, you know, with with age will come experience and belief, and as, as I win more things, you know, maybe that self belief will come. But you know, it's good to hear that from these people. You know, these are these are people at the top of the game, and um, you know, it's it's, it's an honour really to to uh, to hear them things, and you know, it's nice. So you actually kind of it should it should g you up that much more. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, and and. Um, you know, it's nice to hear from people such as such as Peter and Eddie and, and Bashir, you know, and I admire them, you know, for what they've achieved, so for them saying nice things about me, that's um you know, that's really nice. Even Tyson Fury sent a tweet out about you as well, talking about your fight, so Yeah, Tyson, obviously I spent a lot of time with Tyson over there and um Tyson's a good man, you know, and uh, you know, I give him I give him enough support, so he, you know, it's about time. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that was backing me as well. So, um, no, good. So, the fight is just around the corner. Eddie Hearn himself has congratulated you for taking the fight. What does that mean to you, taking a fight? I mean, it worries me a little bit. What's, what's he expecting to happen? You know, I mean, what's he expecting? But um, I would have took any fight. I would have literally took any fight any fight and I'm not saying that in a cocky way I'm not saying I can beat any man in the world you know I'm not there yet I'm not the finished article um, but I will fight anyone and um, you know win lose or draw I'd go back and do it again the next day um, I don't fear I don't fear any man um, in a boxing ring um, so yeah Oriang is a very good opponent he's a very good fighter but he's not he's not he's not he's not world class um, one of the, but one of the guys he fought, Breedis, Breedis knocked out Manuel Shaw quite recently. I mean, he went to points with him, I was much earlier in his career. So this guy is no, it's no mug. You know, uh, this, yeah. this this guy, or, you know, your opponent, he's he's no mug whatsoever. He's going to bring, I mean, as you, and as you said before fighting somebody that you could have knocked over in a couple of rounds, you don't learn much from. Now, a guy's going to stand there and probably take your best shot, possibly, and throw back punches at you. What sort of a... What sort of a fight do you envision with that? Well, you know, is um... I want to take the centre of the ring. I want, I want to be the stronger man in the ring. I want to be the taller man. Um, and it's going to be a... It's going to be a you know, hopefully it's going to be a it's going to be a slow breaking down process. He's very tough, and he can look after himself. He's very clever. Um, he's very experienced. So the 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 plan is is just a slow breaking down process. And you know, if he if he if I land a good shot and he goes, he goes. But you know, we're thinking it's an eight round fight. That's how we're seeing it. It's an eight round fight, and we're just going to go out there and try and win every round of the eight, um, with the aim of with the aim of breaking him down and, and forcing a late stoppage. What's more important to Dave Allen? Looking very good on Sky Sports and, 
and blowing a guy away or getting the getting just getting the win and working for another day. Just winning. Gotta win. I could win my next thirty fights and look terrible in all of them, but if I win my next thirty fights, I'm gonna be heavyweight champion of the world. So um it's about winning. But Saturday night is about winning. It's about looking good. It's about impressing. Because this is this is the opportunity that I've been waiting for and asking for now for the last two years. Mm-hmm. So it's here. Um, I'm in I'm in good enough shape to, to do myself justice. And um, you know it's here. It's it's, um, it's time. And I'm ready. And you know I couldn't have asked for a better opponent. To um, you know it's um, it's an opponent that's 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 gonna have me on edge and, and ready and uh, and able to perform to my best. Now here's another thing. It's been mentioned on several occasions via our interviews that you've had more interviews that, with me than you've had fights. Now, yep. the fact that you're going to be on Sky Sports, the element of surprise is no longer going to be there because if you go eight rounds, it gives people eight rounds to see what you're about. Does that concern you at all? Yep. No, all because I can do a little bit of everything. Um and you might see that Saturday night. Um, you know, it, it's boxing, and um, you know, no, no one fight is ever the same. Um, but a leopard never changes its spot, and, and fighters, you know, if it gets hard on Saturday night, I'll resort to what I know best, and that's just having a fight. So, um, you know, Saturday night is my. I'm not even thought beyond. I've got a fight lined up five weeks after on Saturday, but that won't that won't happen unless Saturday goes to plan. So it's all about Saturday. I've watched Fabrice. I've got a lot of respect for him. You know, he's a, he's been a French heavyweight champion. He's bought some good fights. I've got a lot of respect for him. And, um, you know, my mind is 100% on the job. So when we see you fight, will you? how close to the, top, to the top of the bill will you be? I believe... I believe I may be the first televised fight on the, on the, of the evening. But um, the press conference is tomorrow at 1pm at the McCure Hotel in Sheffield and um, I would imagine that all will be revealed there so um, you know tomorrow I'll probably have that information tomorrow for people interested How's it going to make you feel being on the, on the top table doing the interview eh? I've done a few of these before um, you know I've been on a lot of big bills before but I've never you know I've never been televised I've been on, I've been on a, three TV shows I've boxed on Sheffield Arena I've boxed on Amir Khan on the cards and uh, I've, I've kind of I've kind of been there been around it but you know, Saturday I'm going to be involved in it. I'm going to be one of the one of the main players on Saturday, and uh, you know, I'm very proud. And um, you know, I just hope the people that couldn't make it and buy tickets, you know, will watch will watch on uh, Sky Sports. Dave Allen, thank you so much as always talking to Baylor at TV. This is a journey that you know is only just getting started now, to be honest. But yeah. um, I wish you all the very best. Saturday Thanks a lot, Ingram. Yeah, and, this... um, it's kind of feel that like we've been on this journey for a while now, but now things are really starting to really pick up for you. Yeah, this is, um, you know, this is it's not the big, it's not the very beginning, but I think it's the beginning of um, the beginning of something, uh, something big. So um, it's good. It's good. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm in a good place. So um, yeah, it's. It's going to be a good fight Saturday. It's going to be a oh, pretty good fight. Before we finish, we've got to talk about two things. Your uh, Twitter page and your Facebook page. Let's talk about your Twitter page first. My Twitter page is David the DavidTheYR1. Um, and my fan, fan page. Can I call it a fan page? The page where it, I put information about... Well, the page where I put information about myself is uh, David the White Rhino Allen. It's not a fan page. I don't have fans yet. I'm not big time. But after Saturday, live on Sky Sports. Good win, maybe. Um... So yeah, that's where you can catch up with the latest uh, information and stuff. I'll be putting interviews on there from this one and IFL TV and um, whatever else, and and you know that's the place to to catch what I'm doing. So um, if everyone can like and follow or whatever you need to do, that'd be good. I'd be grateful for that. Thank you, Dave Allen. Once again, thank you so much for talking to Baylor TV. Thank you. Thanks for having me.